Today we'll review Never Eat Alone and Other Secrets of the Success, One Relationship at a Time by Keith Ferrazzi. Now this book is fucking amazing because it discusses a lot of advanced networking strategies that could be applied in social circle game. You really can't be finding this level of networking strategies anywhere else. My name is Brian Choi and on this channel we help you dominate your social, dating and networking lives. What you can expect is some of the things that have helped so far in my own journey and secondhand mentorships from some of the most influential figures in the field. So if you want to be part of the tribe, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to check out the book, it'll be the first link in the description box below. Let's dive in. So who is this book for? If you want to network with some of the most successful individuals around the world, this is for you. If you want to make more friends, this is for you. If you never want to eat alone, this is for you. What is this book about? Contrary to popular belief, Never Eat Alone is not a dating advice book. However, it can be very easily applied in the dating field. Like this, the concepts discussed in this book can be applied in like different social settings, networking settings, with your friends, with different high successful like entrepreneurs, business people, or just a person you found attractive. So a lot of amazing strategic networking tips and strategies discussed in this book, and it's an amazing fucking book. So let's talk about the key concept in this entire book. And what I wanna focus on today is something called weekly dinner parties. And the name itself is a dinner party, but it doesn't always have to be a dinner party. Uh, RST looks social circle blueprint, and in social circle game, there's a term called container events. What it basically is, is you do weekly or monthly events that brings other people into you. So it's kind of like a group date. That's an easy way to put it. And in the, in the book, it specifically talks about bringing other successful individuals all together and driving through each other's network in a dinner party setting. And Keith Ferrazzi talks about having wine nights, having like having cheese spreads and all those things and having catered chefs, but it doesn't always have to be like that. You don't have to host the next Maxim party or the next Maxim after party. It can be simply like sushi night. What I would do is like hosting what I call sushi Tuesdays or Sunday brunches, things like that. I give them names, like make them sound special, like make them sound almost like obnoxious and so technical and so special. That's what I would do because it makes the whole experience like more enjoyable and more official. Like I would literally print out digital posters. I literally went on the internet, learned how to make posters and I sent them out of snaps and Instagram to people in my network and say, hey, it's Sushi Tuesdays, bring girls. And that's what I used to do. Like Sunday brunches, fucking phenomenal. Everyone loves brunches. And those are the things I would like to do. And in the book, it talks about the benefits of that is that you can save time. Like it really can. Let's say you're in town for only a few days and you got all these people you want to meet and you want you just want to meet all at the same time. You just had you just don't have enough time. What you do is you just pick out a restaurant, reserve it, and call everyone there or invite everyone to your house and host a wine night. Like it can be anything. And you may think that this could be a little awkward they don't know each other, but that's the whole point. Like bring people together, introduce them to each other, and you're creating stronger bonds with each and individual people because you're creating commonalities and you're creating mutual friends. Like mutual friends is so powerful when developing stronger relationships. It's kinda like like since like you're like they're friends with your friends. It gives them another reason for you to see and that person all at the same time together next time. And as you go, as you do more of these, what you can do is have them bring their friends to your events. So you're driving through their network and it's kind of like a spiral effect, like spider web and like fucking Illuminati social web. It's amazing. It's incredible. Uh, and uh, another variation of this could be something you really enjoy and you're gonna do anyway just invite people along the way let's say you really love going to the gym and it's a gym that it's like a chain it's like LA Fitness for example in the states it's like different chains like throughout the LA area um, that if you have the membership to then you can go to different chains right then you can invite your friends or other people to the gym and work out together teach them workout strategies workout tips workouts and it's an amazing, incredible 
opportunity because uh, we call this state transfers. What, what it essentially is, is if you find it really fascinating, the other person will find it fascinating as well. The state and the emotion kind of transfers into the other people. And since you really enjoy working out and you're so passionate about it, the other people feel that too and they enjoy it as well. And of course, like all of this is so much better than just one-on-one -on -one dinner business meeting sitting across the table. How will this book help you? This book will fucking help you. And how? This book is it, it, it's so fascinating because this entire book is almost like social circle game in a book. Like social circle blueprint in book form is is the concepts are almost identical. And I remember going from like making the transition from cold approach to social circle game. I mean I still do cold approach but more focusing on social circle game. It's just my my entire life changed. Like the way I look at things, they change like you know, I'm meeting more people, I'm meeting more attractive girls and I'm meeting more successful people. And same thing with this. If you apply and implement the strategies and tips and techniques discussed in this book, then it's just simply going to shift your entire mindset rather than just like thinking of like meeting people one on one and bring the entire like entire like just bring your entire friends together, introducing them to each other, value arbitraging, and driving through all their network and creating really, really strong friendships and stronger relationships. And this will just improve your overall social and business life. Like, skyrocket it. It's gonna be amazing. Why should you read this book? See, I'm a, I'm a huge proponent and a huge endorser of the idea that your social life itself determines your entire life. Like the people you know, the people you hang around with, the girls you're seeing, the guys you're seeing, that really de determines your entire quality of life. Like your mental health, like your emotional health, your physical health, it's crazy. Like there's a saying that goes, you're average of the five people you surround yourself with. I live by that, that's my life motto. And by reading this book and implementing the strategies, like this is how you're going to change the people that are going to be around you. They're, this is going to change the people that you're going to be hanging around with. So that's why you should read this book. Overall rating, I give this book a 9 out of 10. This is another phenomenal book that made a huge drastic impact in my social life. Like crazy. And I'm really confident that it will transform your social life as well question of the day what kind of dinner party can you host will it be a sushi night will it be a group brunch what will it be let us know in the comments below